Hey everybody, this is Cool Scratch Tutorials, and today we're going to be going over how to make yourself a title screen in Scratch for your game. First, we want to go to Events, go down to, I mean, when I receive message one, drag it over to a new place, and let's make a new message. Let's create this begin. Since we've created our new message, we want to go to everywhere where it has a green flag and just replace it when I receive begin. So I'm going to get rid of the green flag there, put in begin, maybe just duplicate when I receive begin, duplicate it again, duplicate it again. Get rid of the green flag, get rid of the green flag there. Let's get rid of the green flag there. Let's get rid of the green flag there get rid of the green flag everywhere you always just want to replace green flag with begin so let's go to our another sprites and do the same here and do the same there okay once we've done that now we just want to make a character for the title screen itself so let's go here and click choose a sprite. For right now, I'm just going to choose this button. It's going to be our play button. I'm going to make it say play. Let's delete that sprite. Click that sprite. Go here. Add text and say play. I'm going to change the color maybe to... Change it to... Maybe bright red make it fit into the button like so so now we have our play button now I'm gonna create a backdrop to start the game so let's make a new backdrop paint I'm gonna fill it in with black paint like so just drag a rectangle so we have a complete black screen then let's go up here add text maybe just change it to blue for now and let's say Welcome to Scratch Platform. Let's just center it by adding some spaces. And let's drag it to where we want it. There we go. Let's drag the play button where we want it. And let's add a another character to make it look different when we're highlighting over the button itself. So maybe I'll just change this text to dark red. So we have two different. Now for the code, we want to do a green flag this time. Go to looks, go down, drag in a show, and then go to forever loop if then sensing touching mouse pointer then go back to looks chain size by 50 actually let's make this an if else statement so just drag in the touching mouse pointer same thing duplicate the chain size and make it negative 50 We can see that it grows when we touch it. We don't want it to change size. We want it to be set to a certain size. So put these back, go to looks, drag in the set size. Let's set size to maybe 500% and otherwise just 250%. So we can see it changes. That's a little too big. So let's change that down to 300 and maybe 200. So if we press the green flag, you can see it changes sizes when we hover over it. We can see the backdrop changes. We want to replace the green flag with the when I receive begin. And then drag in another green flag. We want to set backdrop to backdrop one. So that's what we do. 
and it goes to the screen. Go back to button. Let's drag in the if then statement. If, let's go to sensing. If mouse down, then you want to go to events, broadcast begin. So when we click that, then the game will start. And then we want the button to disappear. So let's go up to looks and press hide. So green flag clicked, we click it and they both disappear. Now we want both the basketball, the ground and our character to go away. So drag in the green flag clicked block, go to looks and then press hide. Drag in a show anywhere where it says begin. Same thing here, get a green flag, go up to looks, go down, get a show and begin and put a hide when green flag clicked. Do the same for basketball. When green flag clicked, looks, hide, flower receive, begin, show. So they all disappear. When we click on it, then our game begins. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed or learned something new, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Goodbye.